Hi, I'm Tim Tyler, and this is a video review of this book, Virus of the Mind, The New Science of the Meme, by Richard Brody. So to start with, um, here's the back cover. Warning, this book contains a live mind virus. Do not read this book unless you are willing to be infected. And there's some details about the contents of the book. Um, this book is an unusual one. It's a book about memetics. It's also a self-help book. And the basic idea is that you should realise that you're infected with a variety of mind viruses and then take steps to remove the deleterious ones and cultivate the ones that um, you think are beneficial for yourself. Um, so this isn't so much of a review as me briefly wrapping off the contents of the book, really. Um, to start with, um, one of the sections that I liked starts on page 79, reads as follows. Um, it's the end of the DNA era, but it's not the end of the story. For us, it's just the beginning. I mentioned before that humans seem to have reached the highest stage of evolution. When I say that, I'm not simply saying that we are morally superior or God's chosen creatures or anything like that, true though it may be. What I mean is that our minds, lives and cultures are affected by the evolution of something besides DNA. Because while genetic evolution happens so slowly that it takes a leap of faith to believe in it, there's a new kind of evolution happening so fast that it leaves DNA in the Darwinian dust. It's the evolution of something even nearer and dearer to us than DNA. Um, so, um, Richard Brody manages to use the phrase a new kind of evolution, um, and he understands that um, the um, cultural evolution that's now taking place on the planet um, qualifies as such. So, um, that's a major score in my eyes. Um, he appreciates one of the um, less widely appreciated points of memetics. Um, and then another quote from um, page 100 this time. Um, this is about computers, and he writes... Um, as computers get smarter, computer-based replicators will become more common, mutating replicators that not only spread but also evolve. And as computer-based replicators start to overtake mind-based memes as the primary repositories and communicators of information, these new replicators could have more influence on the shape of the world than memes do, just as memes overtook DNA as shapers of global environment. Maybe non-human-based replicators will evolve to the point where we fade into the background, mere asterisks in the snapbook book of the universe. And if we should start getting in the way of these new computer-based replicators, as so many species of DNA-based replicators have gotten in our way and become endangered or extinct... Um, so, um, there he's discussing the idea of what I call a memetic takeover, um, and Sue Blackmore would probably be pleased with that paragraph as well, because he classifies um, computer-based replicators as something different from the memes that preceded them. Um, so that was another section that I liked. Um, and then there's a couple more sections. Uh, there's this one. Um, this was a kind of an aha moment for me, in that um, he said something that I... I often try and learn um, things from book, the books that I read, and here was a section that um, kind of taught me something. Um, it was a section about um, adultery, basically, um, and he's talking about hypocrisy. And, um, well, let me show you the cartoon. That explains part of his thesis. Um, so, there's the cartoon. Um, we've got a teacher saying, so remember, adultery is bad and wrong. And then um, he's saying in his mind, and I sure hope I don't get caught. So he's being um, hypocrite here. The teacher is um, not practicing what he preaches. And um, Stuart Brodie's point um, is basically that um, spreading um, sexual morality that um, preaches chastity and um, or basically preaches a variety of means that suppress sexuality um, is good for the person who's doing it, um, but bad for the people who are receiving it, um, or bad for their, for their genes, basically. Um, and um, when, when I read this, I thought... Um, well, that's not right. The um, person who's preaching is actually wasting their energy because they're only suppressing a tiny fraction of the um, the individuals um, who they're in competition with. Um, there's six billion people on the planet these days, and um, it's like going around killing your male competitors if you're a man, for example. Um, superficially, that may seem like a good idea, but in practice, um, what you're doing is wasting your own energy when you could be spending it reproducing yourself, um, and the impact that you have on the um, six billion um, competitors um, is effectively neg negligible, so it's not um, wa or so it's a waste of time. Um, so that was my first thought when I read that, but then um, I kind of realised that um, Stuart Brody had a point, sorry, Richard Brody had a point, um, which was that 
um, that kind of behaviour, although not adaptive in modern society, might well be adaptive in the environment in which our ancestors evolved, um, because there um, you're in competition with your the people immediately surrounding you, and if you can suppress their sexualities, um, then you more have mate, may have more mating um, possibilities with um, local members of the opposite sex. So um, I kind of. Um, my initial reaction to his comment was that, oh, that's wrong, um, but um, I then subsequently concluded that he did have a point there, um, so that was, I learned something by reading that section, which was always pleasing for me. Uh, and then the last section I was interested in um, was this section. Um, I don't know if we can see the section titles. The Quest for Truth, and then he talks about serving your DNA and um, life's purpose. Um, he discusses um, the people's purpose in life, basically, and um, I don't find um, there's all that much discussion of that, um, or at least um, I don't encounter as much discussion of that as I would like, so I'm interested in seeing people's um, ideas about what their purpose in life is. Um, he rejects the whole idea of um, serving your DNA. He says, but if you're going to pick a life purpose, serving DNA seems like a silly one to me, so he doesn't like the um, idea that human beings are um, DNA replicators, um, and he discusses the whole idea that human beings are truth seekers as well. Um, and um, yeah, I won't go into his detail, his um, views about that. Um, so, um, not a great book, um, a self-help book about memes, if you can imagine such a thing. So, um, limited um, kind of academic um, interest, um, but he does have um, some of the main themes of memetics um, down. So, I'm quite pleased to see that he quoted some of the ideas that I consider to be major themes in memetics. Um, quotes them in passing and doesn't go into details, perhaps, but um, anyway, he, he, he knows the ropes basically in memetics. So, that's, um, that was positive for me to see. Um, so, um, that's my review of um, Virus of the Mind. Um, yeah, um, enjoy.